AMC short interest risen to a massive 16.29% according to Ortex, which is extremely high and also has made a major jump in just one day. Again, we have that T plus two happening right now. So that massive red day was shorts clearly attacking the stock. Short interest is not only to show for it, but short exempts as well. 1.738 million short exempt volume in a single day with the short percentage all the way up to almost 80 percent you don't see this at all ever you don't see this on any stock in the overall market ever even tesla the quote-unquote most shorted stock in the market you don't see this on anything this market is disgusting they're allowing this to happen and this is why you saw amc plunge right here large percentages it's not retail selling off the stock it's not youtubers that you should be mad at or content creators that you should be mad at you should be mad at the sec gary gensler you should be mad at the u.s in general the government the people in power because they're stealing money from you it's not me because i'm in this with you guys for the long term for the long run overall we got a lot of stuff to cover with amc as well as gamestop and some other plays so watch until the end of the video guys so you don't have to watch another update on youtube as always i thank you so much for the support and thank you so much for hitting that like button for those of you who do it helps me out okay so amc is trading at three dollars and 13 cents hitting a all-time low today as well, down about a half a percent on the day. And as of right now, what we're tracking is sideways chop trading for some time being before moving higher, and it's not gonna last longer than a month. That is essentially what we have, a month at most, and it could last less because some cycles are accelerated, including Bitcoin. So as of right now, we're expecting AMC to slowly chop trade to the downside, test $3 as a bottom, and maybe even break a little lower okay so that is what we're watching with amc as of right now coming into late april um this is what you can see right here we got the double flash down and then the chop trading sideways and it's very similar to what we're tracking with gamestop as well gamestop is not doing well down four percent on the day trading at 1150 came right into this channel broke below three days in a row finally now in this channel that we've been talking about and i think it's going to hold this channel for quite some time i don't think it's just going to flash right below ten dollars and ninety cents i think it's going to hold right at that eleven dollar level for a little bit and chop in this channel before going lower if it does go lower I just want to state that this descending trend line down here of support is buy range for GameStop in my opinion. So if it were to flash down right now, I'd be looking at $10 to $9.50 for buy range for GameStop before moving higher. So this is the buy range. This is what we see happening with GameStop. And it was easy to spot because it happens cycle, cycle over and over again. Chop in the channel, break below, chop in the channel, break below. And now GameStop is doing it once again. So overall, we're just waiting for this delay to end. <clears throat> we're seeing a lot of liquidity being pulled across the board today. But before we get into that, let's touch on GameStop real quick. Short exempts were also high. 354,000, then 161, then 73. Keep in mind, GameStop usually has an average of less than 10,000. Of course, we're losing on the option chain for AMC as well as GameStop. There's not much to say there. Lots of premium going to market makers as well. If you're going to play options on those, probably do it further out. Not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. HYMC is running today, which AMC has correlation to this. This is up 23% as we speak, trading at $3.38. So you can put this one on your radar, Highcroft Mining. They surged by 21% and more, right? Now they're up even more today. And they've seen an increase over 70% in the last month, trading higher than AMC, which contributed to its recognition. I believe AMC has warrants in Highcroft or something along the lines of that. So they are involved a little bit, as well as NCMI, which I think was moving as well. Uh, Highcroft recently beat earnings, I believe. So just keep this one on your radar. And yesterday I told you to keep NKLA on your radar. Sold off a little bit. Now building a base. We're going to watch this thing to see if it's going to make another move higher. A lot of volume on the green days. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Shows some momentum to the upside. So shows some strength for the bulls in this stock. Now we're seeing pullbacks across the board. And one of them I want you to pay attention to because it could be a dip by opportunity is elf elf is down 3.3 percent we talked about it several times on the channel 
broke below the 618 on the fib i'd watch for a bounce right around 177.30 and that would be a good buy price i think watch to see if it'll re-break 187.50 and come back over the 618 on the fib also so those are the two levels i'm watching on elf now this aggravated me yesterday as many of you know i entered puts on tesla and i had a somewhat tight stop on it and i got stopped out before the end of the day on that tesla climb super aggravating tesla's down five percent today missed that run it's whatever i'm gonna have to wipe it off the slate but if you entered those puts and you didn't put a stop let me know in the comments down below because you guys are probably making a decent amount of money tesla's now at 167.37 down about five percent coming back down to retest support a major support level and i think it's just gonna break below after that as of right now tesla failed to break above where it needed to break above and their deliveries came out lower than expected Q1 deliveries, 386,810, estimated 449,080. So Tesla, not looking good as of right now. You're seeing a lot of liquidity being pulled. This is going to bring us into the overall market before we touch on crypto. 5.1783, down almost a full percent on the day. This is the most aggressive pullback we have seen in quite a bit on the SPY. Got a double top up here right around 523.50. Now we got smacked back down. One thing to keep in mind is we're still holding this aggressive support uh, trend line level. <clears throat> so that's something important to note, which means the SPY may not break lower and it may actually reverse from here. It depends on how strong this move is. If we break below another day, you want to see volume increase for confirmation that the trend is going to be shifting. And you're also going to need to see a few other things, right? You want to see a weekly candle close below this trend line. Uh, you want to see a few other things with indicators. So it's not going to be as simple as, okay, SPY broke this level, volume is picking up. Uh, we are now in a bear market. I don't think that is going to be the case, but keep watch on the SPY. I still think it has a good shot coming up to 535. As of right now, nothing is invalidated. What does that mean for crypto? Bitcoin is pulling back to 65,000, down 6% after getting rejected around 71 once again. So got a nice double top along with the overall market, and we may be losing momentum across the board. Bitcoin should hold 64,000 during this little retracement that it has. I really want it to hold 64,000. If it doesn't hold 64, it's gonna come back down to 60 and potentially dip to 59 and scare a lot of people. Now, a couple things to note. $143 million were liquidated in just one hour in crypto. These are, in my opinion, big players shaking people out. And the reason I say that and the reason I stick to that is because BlackRock says Bitcoin returns likely to come down now that it has embraced, has been embraced by Wall Street. So they're saying Bitcoin is probably going to come down, yet they are holding as well as purchasing more Bitcoin. So don't listen to what institutions say, but look at what they do. Look at what hedge funds do. Look at what insiders do. Don't listen to what they say. This is exactly what I think is happening. They're shaking people out, getting a better price before the rip. Also, another thing to note, coming into the halving, you're going to lose momentum because the catalyst was the halving. Coming into this, people are going to take profits. And after the halving, you're probably going to see people take profits the week before and the week after, and maybe even a couple weeks before, a couple weeks after, because that is essentially the catalyst. However, that doesn't mean that Bitcoin is actually over. In fact, every single halving, almost two to 400 days, Bitcoin hits its all-time high. So this could just be the very, very beginning of a cycle, or this was a fake bull cycle across the board, fake bull cycle in the market space, fake bull cycle in the crypto space, not necessarily fake, but a very small one, not like 2021. So these are some things to note as far as what I have done, but I did add more in Doge on this pullback because whoever purchased Doge recently and got this move higher, their gains were eaten away. However, Doge is coming to base off of this recent high right around 18 cents and I think is going to move higher coming all the way up to 34 cents. 34 cents is my price target on Doge, so I added more. Um, I added some other alternatives, Bitcoin Cash, some Shiba, uh, and some Bitcoin. So overall, guys, that is what I got for you for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching more found value out of the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure to get in the Discord. The link is right under the video. Come talk with me. You can see my trades when I take them. We post our gains, post our losses, talk stocks, as well as crypto all day long. So there's no reason not to get in. It's a coffee a month. Level up your journey. That is in the top of the description and pinned in the top of comments. And if you want another broker, which you should have several in my opinion, Moomoo is giving you a customizable earnings calendar, the best notifications, level two order book data, access to shorting, trading options, and more as a retail trader. 
and viewing other exchanges. So you use my link, open a Moomoo account, make a deposit into there, and they're going to start giving you benefits so you guys can level up your trading journey. With these benefits, use that money, that free money, that leverage to get yourself in the Discord. Both of those links are under the video. It'll take you 10 minutes to do both. I love you all. Lottery socks out.